can we talk about the Mazda CX-60? I'm here in a semi-sunny Cape Town for the launch of the Mazda CX-60. Let's go have a look. The Mazda CX-60 is quickly gaining popularity as a standout model within the Mazda stable. This elegant SUV boasts a range of impressive features and performance capabilities. But let's look at the recently launched Mazda CX-60 3.3-litre turbo diesel mild hybrid Takumi all-wheel drive. From a, from a Mazda global perspective, South Africa remains an important market for Mazda. Mazda has a huge history and, and almost a legacy um, in the South African market. Electrification, new energy vehicles, alternate powertrains, etc. is something that is a critical element of automotive and any automotive company at the moment. And it's a difference of approach for Mazda in terms of the fact that what we have come to market with or we'll go to market with is a sustainable CO2 strategy as we've coined the phrase. And that basically talks more to a phased approach which will allow us to remain relevant in markets that will potentially adopt um, you know, electrification in a slower manner. I think that, that there's, there's a lot of misconception um, and, and even to the point I'll say mystery around electrification, electric vehicles, alternate powertrains as I refer to them or new energy vehicles as many people refer to them. And I think it's a lot less complex in certain areas and one of those basically being electricity supply. Generation capacity from private producers in our own homes etc will be the alleviating factor. I think. There's other infrastructure elements that are going to delay, and I say it's not going to stop, it's going to delay South Africa's uptake, South Africa's entry into a fully, fully electrified automotive space. One of the gaps that we had in the CX-60 range was something that actually delivered a level of performance. But bringing this car, I think we basically rounded out the full model lineup in CX-60 and also created a new space that Mazda hasn't been in before in terms of equipment levels, but certainly in terms of a performance engine of sorts. This is the top of the range of our CX-60 model lineup that we've just recently launched. It also has what we call mild hybrid, MHEV, mild hybrid technology, the first vehicle in South Africa that we're launching with that technology in the Mazda lineup. Mild hybrid is an electrification system that is on board with a lithium ion battery connected to an electric motor that's incorporated in the, in the transmission that assists the engine with power delivery as well as fuel consumption. Takumi is a Japanese phrase for being a master in your crops. At the, at the Mazda Corporation factory in, in Japan, if you have been in a specific trade or design or engineer for quite some time and you have mastered the craft, then you get the title that you are a Takumi in your, in your craft. The Mazda CX-60 Takumi variant stands out with its distinctive design elements. It features an exclusive front bumper design, a bar type piano black grille, and a bright metal finish on the front signature wings. Under the hood, the CX-60 is powered by a robust 3.3-litre inline six-cylinder turbo diesel mild hybrid engine. This power plant delivers an impressive output of 187 kilowatts and 550 newton meters of torque, ensuring a dynamic and responsive driving experience. Complementing its stylish appearance are the 20-inch black metallic diamond cut machined alloy wheels, adding a touch of sophistication and enhancing the overall aesthetic appeal of the vehicle. The Takumi has the Mazda iActive Sense Driver Assistance Safety Systems like radar cruise control, blind spot monitoring, lane keep assist and so much more. 
one of the groundbreaking features of the Mazda CX-60 is its innovative driver personalization system. This system revolutionizes the driving experience by recognizing the occupant in the driver's seat and automatically adjusting the surroundings. Let's have a look at Mazda's driver personalization system. Here you can add up to six different driver profiles to the vehicle. The driver personalization system will assist you to get your ideal seating position. It will ask you your approximate height and ask you to remove sunglasses or any other obstruction from your face. The camera needs to see your face. The car will then set up the ideal position as per the parameters that match your height. If you're not comfortable, you can then adjust the seat, the mirrors and the steering wheel. Then you just have to save all the settings. Your Mazda needs to recognize your face, so you turn your head to the left and the right. You can then give yourself a name or choose a profile image. Marius saved himself as driver one. As soon as you get back into the car, it recognizes you and says, welcome driver one. It adjusts the steering wheel, the seat, the mirrors, sets your preferred radio station and your preferred aircon settings. With its impressive performance, distinctive design and innovative driver personalization system, the Mazda CX-60 continues to set new benchmarks in the automotive industry. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out my box below and I'll see you next time.